Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving our praises on and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakakodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, our teachers who rule well. Peace and salutations to all you occupying among the four corners of the globe, pushing out the words of Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, with truth, sincerity, and with charity. It's the brother Yashari coming to you from the great millstone branch of Chicago. Um, just hop into this quick lesson, man. Lord willing to be out of fine. And, um, just jump to this book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. For sweetness, Salakia. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. So, you know, um, you know, as as we come into the, the knowledge that we are um of so-called Negro, Latino, or Native descent. This is something that we are to learn and teach, man. You know, learn, teach, which that's something that we all did coming into the truth. And you hot to go tell your family. You hot to go tell your friends. But then when you get deeper into the truth, and deeper into the spirit part of the truth, you grow to learn that a lot of our people, most of our people are going to reject the knowledge of truth, man. They're going to reject the words of Yahweh Bashmi Shah, which is the only thing that's going to stand in these times that we are coming in. You know, and uh, you know, the scripture says that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. It's only talking about the wisdom and knowledge presented in the holy scriptures, man. You know, and at this point, I don't care what translation you want to read it in. Hey, let's break bread. Let's read the Bible. This is how we're to grow as men. This is how we're to know what a woman is. This is how we are to, to know how to move in life. Therefore, this wisdom is the only thing that we need. Unfortunately, as the scriptures just talked about, you know, it says they are not, we're not sent. When we go out and send uh, uh, this message from the Heavenly Father, you know, compelling our people back to the, the Heavenly Father and His ways, we're not sent to a people of a hard language. You know, the scripture told us if, if we were sent to um, the people of another nation, you know, just roughly put, you know, that they will hearken. You know, the, 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 the Ammonites, they are hearkening if they, um, you know, were, were the children of Israel. All those people of the hard languages, they will hearken if they were being told that they were gods and princesses, man. But the house of Israel is a rebellious house right now. A lot of our people are counted as heathen, you know, and only the elect of the elect is going to receive this word, man. But it says, not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto me, unto thee. But the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee. For they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. You know, um, the righteous are always going to be an abomination to the wicked and vice versa, man. These people do not care about what you have to say. Why? Because they are watching all of this foolery and buffoonery on the, the, the social media platforms, on the TV. Everything that these people are talking about now don't make sense. And it's all uh, 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 evolving, I mean, involving somebody else's life. Somebody, somebody, somebody else that's a complete piece of crap with no integrity. Your everyday move and how you govern yourself throughout your day is based around these people on social media that you never met before. They don't care about you. You got people still... Uh, uh, freaking not paying their bills in their home just to go to concerts and shit. Hey, but this is the bread and circus that the Bibles talk about, man. 
Because that's all our people want to do. And just like as the days of Noah, and they was too busy partying and bullshitting, man. Hey, when Noah was building that ark, man, getting prepared for the, the destruction that was coming. And this is what we're doing now, hey, building up a spiritual tabernacle, getting ourselves mentally prepared for what's about to come. That these people are all about the witness. Everybody is about to see the downfall of this damn devil, man. But instead of, instead of hearkening to the prophets and, and readjusting their ways and how they live in life, you don't think we drink yon yon sometimes? You don't think we go out and have a good time? You don't think we go out and shoot pool? Go bowling? That ain't shit that y'all do that we don't do. But we do it in righteousness, man. You gotta be out here doing these hard drugs. These people getting hooked on pills and shit. You don't even know the ingredients in that, man. It's not smart. It's simplicity, man. You know what? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter one. Verse 20 says, wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates in the city. She uttereth her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. It was a question. How long is you foolish people going to hate knowledge and love the foolish shit that y'all choose to believe in every day? That's stupid. And it shows how simple the minds of our people really are, man. You tell somebody you're a king. He say, no, nah, I'm a black king. What the? F what are you talking about? I'm looking at your skin. It is not black. What are you talking about? You tell a woman she's a princess. She says, no, I'm a queen. Baby, look up the definition. Which a lot of our women don't even know that the word woman means servant, man. So this is how simple our people are. And this is how easy it is to be destroyed. Because the scripture says that my people will be destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. So for all of the knowledge that they chose to hate instead of graft unto, this is that same knowledge that they could have received and been exempt from a harsh judgment. But they don't care, as the scripture says, man. They walk on in darkness. They don't care. They exceedingly uh, surpass the ways of the of, of the deeds of the wicked, man. Here you is. You have Esau Edom being wicked. He is wicked. <laughs> Our people more wicked than the wicked. That's that's wild, man. And this is why a lot of you niggas are going to die, man. How about that? I'm going to skip down in this uh, chapter. I think it's like verse 9. Um, con. I'm, uh, this is Proverbs 1 and verse 5. You know what, Salaki? I'm going to come back to that real quick. Let's hit this uh, Peter, man. This second Peter, because I mentioned the days of no. But this uh, second Peter, chapter 4. 2 verse 4 says, For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, this is hell. The Your body is a prison because every day that you're, you wake, you are prone to sin. We need deliverance from these chains of darkness that we are in. Life isn't for us to wake up every day and go smoke a fucking blunt, man. Be on the fucking internet, the freaking internet, excuse my French, sitting up texting another man's woman because out of the whoredom and the simplicity of her mind, she gets on the internet and posts all types of graphic pictures of her fucking self. Now you sitting up, mind gone. Man, gone head over heels over another man, woman. And you probably don't even know because she probably never even posted another man. But all of this crap on social media, on TV, Tubi, and all these other channels that y'all got and y'all watch, y'all all watch the same stuff. 
the bad girls club and the bad boys, all this weird vile affection type of shit, man. This is allowing your mind to be seared. And now you're not able to escape the wiles of the devil, which is a mental trap. The biggest stronghold that Esau Edom have on our people right now, I want to say, is the social media. Because they wake up and get on it. Go to sleep, get on it. They cannot go through their day without getting on the social media and being fed bullshit, man. It says, And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, the preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with the overflowing, making them an, ex an example unto those that after should live ungodly. All of these things were examples to us. Why? Because they didn't take heed unto the prophets. The people that were destroyed at that time. Guess what? Them same people are back right now in that same lot. And they're not going to hearken to the words of the prophets. And those are going to be those same people that are going to utterly be destroyed, man. The ungodly people. Verse 7 says, and delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And this is all you see when you turn on the TV, man. When you walk down the street, you get on your freaking social media sites, man. This is all you see. Unlawful deeds. Things that don't pertain to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, which is going to save the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native descent people, man. This is everything that it, this world promotes everything completely contrary to what the Lord want our people to hear and do. So back to that Proverbs chapter one, verse three it says to receive instruction of wisdom, justice. So like it, justice and judgment and equity to give some sub sub subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and, and discretion. A wise man will hear. And will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. So a wise man will hear these words. A wise man will be vexed at the filthy conversation of these wicked people. This is what you are, you will do if you are wise. It says in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get a, an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. He starts with the what? The searing of the mind, the controlling of your mind. Not only did he have our kids from age 13 to, to, to 21 uh, um, head over heels with the social media. He got y'all parents. The people from 35 years old to 65 cannot get off these social media platforms. And all they do is get on there, talk crap and promote wickedness, man. Man, outside of promoting their little businesses and stuff like that. And man, if you got a business or something that you're doing here in Babylon and it's not just to survive, man, your mind is in the wrong place, man. Because this world is not about to stand. Nothing in this world is about to stand, man. This will all soon be over with, man. And what y'all going to do then? It's nothing to do. It's going to be the end all. That is the end all, man. Hey, when our Lord and Savior comes back, and judges this place. And the scripture says that every eye that pierced him is going to see him, man. Everybody that had a part in the Lord's affliction and his men, you're going to see him and you're going to feel wrath, man. And it's simply put like that, man. Our people are too comfortable living foul, living profane, living dirty, unlawful. But, hey, this is the, the life that we're living in. If you cared about your life, you will hearken unto the words of the Lord now, man. Repent now, man. You can't go on day by day just putting off the Lord and things he wants you to do, especially if you know better, man. And this goes to all of us, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7.
verse seven it says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So in the times that we're coming in, man, you're only going to be saved by your faith, by your works, man. Believing in your works, man. Believing that your faith in your how about me, I was shy and your works is going to help you receive mercy, man. It says, shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. See, it's only it's a thing of the elect of the elect, man. Only the elect of the elect is going to get it. Why? Because they understood from the beginning, man. In every captivity that they had to go through, they understood who their power was, man. But we all had to come back to it, man. You know? This is something that we have to come back to. But this is why the Lord have his men out on the highways and the byways to compel our people back to the Father, man. But our people is more so watching the freaking social medias. They more so watching the, uh, the wicked people in their family that's, that's not telling them to repent. They're, they 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 graft more to wickedness, man. It says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as there as in their life have received benefits and not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. See the people. Who, you know, these people, these big entertainers, man, these people on the on the forefront of your TV that's corrupting your minds, man, they know better, man. And they're abusing the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. They're gonna be in pitiful case. The people that I've talked about that got these businesses and they just all they were about is just getting money, getting money, getting money, and they not doing nothing for the Lord, they're gonna be in pitiful case, man says they have received benefits and have not known me and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when yet as and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain so getting caught up in, in this world and all this bull crap on TV and the social medias and the phones and, the, and all this weird stuff that Esau Edom got going on Hey, bro, you got to know that that is a trick of the devil, man. Because while he doing all of this and that war and Hamas and all the Baba, all the Babas and all that, this is just a start, man. MW3 is here. We're approaching it. And we're slowly getting closer to the day of our Lord, man. So, hey, we have to continue to prepare ourselves, man. Strengthen our, our, our minds. Gird up our loins, man. Continue to seek him in his ways. So with that, and we give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham, Once again, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Till next time, Shalom.